just how has the first week went compared to maybe the expectations you had going in? Um, first week here was a lot really hectic. You got meetings, uh, position meetings, um, trying to get to the field here, guys, and lift uh, and throw and crazy, a lot of hectic, a lot of chaos. Um, but it, it was fun, you know, it was, it was great to be here, great to meet new people and just be great, great to be a part of the atmosphere. What, what kind of approach are you taking to this first year? Obviously, there's already established a name at quarterback in Skylar Thompson. So what are kind of just your goals or your, your approach to your true freshman year in Manhattan? Yeah, my goals are, you know, come in here, compete, uh, know the offense, like the back of my hand. Um, and just get, you know, get to know this, make this place my home. Um, I'm here to get better. And I, that's why I came early. I want to know the offense, get better and be a leader in my class. How much have you interacted with, with Skyler so far? And how much do you foresee him being instrumental in your first year on campus? Oh, so far, Skyler's been huge for me. Um, if I have a question about the offense, I text him. He answers immediately. Uh, we go to the field. We condition as quarterbacks. You know, he's out there. He can't throw right now with his injury, uh, which, you know, that's it's nagging him. He wants to throw so bad, you could tell. Uh, but, no, he's huge, and I can't wait to learn off him for the next, next year, and hopefully that – uh, this will help my game improve. Thanks, Jake. Good luck. John? Hey, Jake, how much do you embrace the, the quarterback competition that's going to be there this year? Oh, I, I mean, I embrace it all. I mean, I know that there's Skyler, who's been a four-year senior um, or a fifth-year senior now. Uh, you got Will, who played last year, played pretty well. Um, you got Jaron Lewis, who's been here for – he's going to be his third year. They got Max Marsh, who's also a Colorado kid. He's also Will's grade. And I mean, these guys, they've been around this program. They know the offense very well. Um, so that's going to be something I got to catch up on. And that's what I've been attacking very heavily uh, this past three weeks. And I'm starting to get a little small hold on the offense, but I know there's so much more I got to know about it. Um, and I'm just going to come in here and compete every day. You just hit on it a little bit there. I was going to ask him, mean, what's it been like trying to pick up the offense? Like, how different is that from what it was that you were running in at the high school level? You, you know, high school level, I mean, you're kind of the top dog. So, you know, like everything about it, you're teaching other people. But now I kind of picture as you're a freshman now, and now that now it's elevated. I mean, the playbook's about this thick. Uh, you got to know everything about it. There's pages. Uh, Coach Klein's been testing me left and right about every single page. And, knowing all the concepts and everything. So, I mean, it's, it's been tough to learn, but I've spent many hours and I'm starting to get a nice hold on it. And hopefully I can just keep improving each week. Appreciate it, Jake. Thanks, man. No. Kellis. Hey, Jake. Uh, welcome to Kansas State. Um, when you saw, uh, when you committed to the Wildcats, you weren't expecting Skyler to be back next season. So what was your reaction when you found out he was coming back for an extra year? Um, I just looked at it in a positive way. Um, I knew that now I can redshirt, I can get a master's degree here at Kansas State. Um, and hopefully I can, you know, learn off him because I know he's going to be huge, huge to learn off someone uh, that old and that's been a part of this offense for that long. Um, so I, I think actually it's going to help my game in the long run. Um, and hopefully, you know, when he graduates, you know, I could compete and hopefully I can get the starting job. What, would you say you're planning to redshirt right now, or is that still open for whatever happens? Uh, uh, yes, sir. Probably my plan right now is to redshirt this year, so I get that fifth year. And um, just uh, how hectic was it for you last year going from Colorado to Iowa and, and not getting in a regular high school season? What, what was that like? <laughs> it was very hectic, um, but it, it honestly prepared me for college. I mean, I'm in high school. Uh, middle of July, thinking everything's great, thinking we're going to have a season, just working out with my buddies back home. There's no season, then we had to wear options. Um, and so the options took me to Iowa to play a season. They ruled me ineligible. Mm -hmm. I was stuck in Iowa, going just to school, hanging out there. Uh, but everything that came kind of came on with all that adversity is only going to prepare me for what I'm going to have to go through here. Um, and I'm, ex I mean, it was honestly, you know, hard times will get you through hard times, you know, so it, I'll learn from it and just keep on going. Well, what did you do to, to make up for the time you lost on the field? 
Um, then I went straight to the weight room, straight to workouts. Uh, I got a personal trainer and we went every single day. You know, I was still able to practice, which is nice. So I still got the practice, practice aspect. Um, but I lifted hard every day and, you know, went running everything. So, I mean, what I lost playing football, I also gained, but I'll, it might be a blessing. Maybe I got hurt in those later games and I wasn't to the point I am now. So that's how I look at it. All right, cool. Hey, thanks, Jake. Appreciate it. Yep. Ryan. Hey, uh, Jake, kind of following up uh, on, on what Kellis just asked you, I, I guess before Skyler came back, I mean, I guess was your plans or, or kind of your hopes that you'd be competing for the job and starting job in 2021 or kind of what were your expectations before Skyler came back versus kind of how they changed after he announced he was going to take advantage of that extra season? Yeah, of course. I mean, I wanted to come in here. I mean, if Skyler's gone, I knew the job was going to be open. I mean, that's what Coach Kleiman said. He's like, you know, we're going to have an open competition job. And of course, my competitive aspect was like, I'm, I'm going to come in here and try to win it. That's my ability. Uh, but when Skyler came back, you know, Skyler was a fourth year guy, like I or fifth year guy, like I said. Um, now you just kind of you take a step back. You got to learn from him. Um, hopefully, you can push him. You know, I could compete against him, push him, make him better, same time making me better. Um, so that's kind of my philosophy. And now I can get my master's degree at fifth year, it might be a blessing in a very, very long time. So was that difficult to kind of make that that 180 from thinking I'm about to step in and potentially start versus okay well now I get kind of that that year to sit back and and you know hopefully not be forced into action it was uh difficult I mean it was 180 but there's been one, many 180s this year I, I'm sure everyone in this interview has had a 180 uh during this COVID so you know just kind of weigh your options and just go attack it with a different attitude thank you Jake I appreciate it yep it's Hey, good to see you again. Um, uh, the other guys covered everything I really wanted to cover, but let me ask you a really hard-hitting question then. Who's your favorite uncle? <laughs> Got to pick uh, one, I, just one. <laughs> I have many uncles. Um, <laughs> probably the most well-known would be my uncle, Sylvester. But uh, I can't choose a favorite uncle. I just can't do that. 